Thank you for bringing my research paper about Cambodian Theravada Buddhism in the 13th century, influenced from Lopburi, to this event. I hope this paper will share you a crucial result of part of my doctoral dissertation. The connection between Angkor and Lopburi was very important in the 12th and 13th centuries under the reign of Suryavaraman II and Jayavaraman VII. The Piminaka inscription K485, dated in the reign of Jayavarman VII, records that Layadava or Layadavapura Lopburi was governed by one of his sons, Indravaraman. From this period, there are no numerous examples of Lopburi style. Buddhas at Angkor demonstrating the unequivocal artistic connection between the provincial centres and the capital. The development of Theravada Buddhism at Angkor appears to be associated with Lotburi style images, yet the precise character of religious context is only partially understood. The emergence of Cambodian Theravada Buddhism was always put in connection with Sri Lanka from the second half of the 12th century onward, referring to Burmese Glass Chronicle, which cited Tamalinda, which was who was identified as one of the sons of Jayavarman VII, traveling with monks from Sri Lanka, India, and Burma to Sri Lanka, where he received ordination into the lineage of Theravada Mahavihara. However, Himanaka inscription K485, dated in the reign of Jayavarman VII, cites that one of his wives, Indra Devi, um, cites that one of his wives, Indra Devi, the teaching extracts, the teaching extra extracts from the previous lives of the Buddha from a Jataka tale. The inscription of Prasat Taang, K241, from northwest, the northwestern area of Angkor cites the creation of an image of the Buddha, Sugata Maravijita, or Buddha subduing, subduing Mara, in 1267. Another important inscription, inscription from the Bayon Temple, dated to the 13th century, mentions the Buddha, Buddha Vamsa text of Theravada Buddhism and the 15th Buddha Dhammadasi. It is probably inspired by Pagan-style inscriptions. This is the inscription K294, written on the back of the sandstone Buddha stella. And this is its explanation and translation by Georges Sade. At the meantime, a Chinese ambassador, Zhou Daguan, arrived at Angkor in 1296, reported, there is a large community of Theravadan monks. Their temples were probably constructed with perishable materials, where a Buddha in clay wearing a red cloth and painting with different colors. Buddhist monuments. So I'm going to present three important 13th century Buddhist monuments located in Angkor region in the Pravahir province. The first is the Buddhist terrace of Tep Pranam at Angkor Thom. There's a satellite image of Angkor Thom by Damien Evans. The Buddhist terrace of Tep Pranam is located at the top east of the royal palace's enclosure, so-called. The second is Prayer Chaktamuk Bakan Prayer Khan of Kompong's Phai, Prayer province. Um, and it shows the right photo shows the view from the southern angle of the terrace and the left side shows the view from the western part of the terrace. You'll find here the reconstruction of the first phase of the Buddhist terrace of Tep Pranam, dated probably in the first half of the 13th century. There are actually two huge, image, huge images of sandstone Buddhas, a seated Buddha located on the western part of the terrace and a standing Buddha located at the western part outside the terrace. You will also find 25 aligned stupas surrounding the terrace. So those are the stupas. In the 1950s, Henri Marshall drew the complete form of the stupa of the Buddhist terrace of Pranam, which you can see in the photograph on the left side. The right side shows a row of stupas at the northern part of the terrace. This is a standing Buddha in Vitaka Mudra at the western part of outside the terrace. You can see the Buddha after restoration in 1925 by French archaeologists. On your left, and a recent photo of the Buddha taken in 2014 with restoration on the face by Angkor Conservation that was undertaken in 1990. Uh, you can also see the seated Buddha in Mar 
Maharavijaya. Here is the photo of the Buddha head taken before the second restoration in 1950 and a more recent taken in 2014. Um, a lot of fragments of friezes in the cavity of the above Buddha were found between 1918 and 1935. Buddha seated in Maharavijaya depe was depicted on these friezes. Based on the stylistic study, the standing Buddha, the seated Buddha, and the seated Buddha depicted on the friezes date back to the first half of the 13th century. To the north of Siemreap province, about 150 kilometres away, Temple of Prayer Chaktamuk is located in a group of the temples of Bakan or Prayer Khan of Kongpong Sphai. This temple was carved by the four Hu was carved with four, four Hu Hu sorry, four huge four-sided standing Buddha in Vitaka Mudra. However, the sandstone blocks of the upper part of the Buddha collapsed and scattered around the temple. They would have been about 10 metres high. This is the photo of one of the Buddha heads of Praya Chakta taken in 1968. The, and then there's a lower part of the Buddha. Returning to Angkor Tom, the temple of Praya Pal Palile is situated at the top, in the north of the royal palace's enclosure, about 50 metres to the north of the Buddhist terrace of Tep Pranam. This stone sanctuary consists of a square tower with a gapura to the east, surrounded by a laterite enclosure. This is a type of mountain temple built on a basement with three floors, oriented to the cardinal points and open in all directions. The gapura is de de depicted with various scenes of the life of the Buddha. The eastern lintel, here, is depicted with a Buddha in Parinirvana in the middle and two walking Buddhas with their right hands raised in the gesture of Abhaya Mudra, or fearlessness. The central pediment of the Gopura, the eastern face, is depicted with a standing Buddha with his left hand on his chest, perhaps, and surrounded by um, adorants. The northern pediment of the eastern face is depicted with a seated Buddha receiving the offerings from monkeys and elephants in the forest of the Paralaika. The northern lower pediment of the eastern face is depicted with a seated Buddha in Mahavijaya surrounded by his adorants. While the upper pediment of the southern face shows a seated Buddha surrounded again by adoring adorants. The central pediment of the western face shows a, story, a tale from the Vesantara Jataka. Now the northern pediment of the west face is depicted with a Buddha seated receiving offerings. The lower pediment of the northern face shows a walking Buddha calming the furious elephant. While the upper pediment of the northern face shows another Jataka story. The above seems to be associated with Theravada Buddhism, the stylistic and iconographic study of these Buddhist sculptures needs further research, but they date approximately from the third quarter of the 13th century. Buddhist sculpture. It is interesting to mention that there are three icons in the course of the 13th century in the territory of, Khmer King, of the Khmer Kingdom that have Theravada aspects, the earth touching, Buddha, that is a victory over Mara, the, the evil Mara, the standing Buddha with the left or right hand on the chest, the Naga protected Buddha, the seated Buddha wearing a pointed crown, and the Buddha wearing the flame protuberance or the lotus bud. Up until recently, four standing Buddhas with the right hands on the chest depicted on the antifixes were found at Bante Kade. Oh, recently, Four standing Buddhas with right hands on the chest depicted on the antifixes were found at Bante Kide during the excavation by Sophia University in 2002. Another was found at Srasrang. We could use this type of icon on both the edges and the lintels of the Gopura of Prey Palilai. It's interesting to note that there is a standing Buddha with a left hand on the chest, just as we've found on the eastern pediment and on the lower part of the northern pediment, northern pediment of the Gopura. The Naga enthroned Buddha was also still popular at that time. We have an example of two icons from the Angkor region now stored in Angkor conservation, and they probably date from the first half of the 13th century. There are also some bronze Buddhas wearing pointed crowns found in different regions of the Khmer Kingdom. As far as we're aware, this type of icon was very popular in Lotbury in the, in the late 13th century, and the images were perhaps brought from Lotbury to the Khmer Kingdom 
because of their rarity and specialness. Other new types of icons which were invented in the course of the 13th century at Angkor were the Buddha with the flame protuberance and the lotus bud at the top of the Ushnisha. So it seems that there was a continuity of Angkor tradition and you can see from the standing Buddha with both hands making a double abhaya mudra from the gallery of uh, Angkor Wat. This type of gesture is well known in the Angkor region in the 13th century but I've only shown two pieces just for examples. There's another type of icon in which the Buddha appears in Paranirvana. This attitude is associated with Theravada Buddhism and disappeared between the 9th and the 12th centuries. It happened to be reinvented in the third quarter of the 13th century, as you can see in this sandstone Buddha in Paranirvana from the Bayon Temple. Artistic exchanges with Angkor. Three new images appeared at Lokbori in the 13th century. These were the standing Buddha a right, with a right hand on the chest, with themes that can be traced back to Pagan Burma. The Buddha with a flame protuberance, this could have occurred with some sort of contact with Sri Lanka in various places, Lopburi or Angkor. And the Buddha wearing pointed crowns in the parlor type. These are some examples of the Buddha with a right hand on the chest, the standing Buddha with the left hand pointing downwards and a right hand holding close to the chest. In terms of stylistic themes, they all have something in common in their conical protuberance and thick eyebrows and oval face. Um, so, in conclusion, the identity of Tamalinda has recently put a lot of research in question. This monk was not, a monk was not originally from Cambodia, but from Lower Burma. His companions travelled with him to Pagan. The Burmese chroniclers probably invented this story in favour of showing a map making of Theravada Buddhism's countries in the late 12th century. Theravada Buddhism could have occurred in the Khmer Kingdom in the first half of the 13th century, but there was probably a uh, beginning of this sect during the reign of the Jayavarman VII. Cambodian Buddhist monuments and sculpture show that there are obviously direct connections between Angkor and Lokburi in the 13th century in terms of artistic exchanges. No direct contact with Sri Lanka and Burma has been identified. Thank you.